Let's learn about nouns. Today is the day for a cricket match. The team has to get ready. Tota is in charge of the kit bag and will give everyone their equipment. This bat belongs to Balu. She says pulling a big bat out of the bag. Balu's bat shouts Jojo. And this bat belongs to Gul, says Tota. Gul's bat announces Jojo. And Gul's pads adds Jojo as Tota passes him the pads. This helmet must belong to a thud, says Tota, struggling to pull it out of the bag. Jojo looks at it and calls out, Thud's helmet! Please come and take it yourself, Thud! Next, Tota pulls out a pair of gloves. These gloves belong to Hop, our wicketkeeper, she says. Find the coat and hat for Crow, the umpire, says Thud. Crow's uniform, says Jojo, holding it up in his hands. Here is the ball, Jojo, says Tota. Come and take the ball. <laughs> Tota, give the ball back to Jojo. He needs to practice his bowling, says Crow. Come on, everyone, he says. We have a match to play. Let's get ready to win. Look at these sentences. This bat belongs to Balu. This helmet must belong to Thud. Did you notice that in both the sentences, the things belong to somebody? The bat belongs to Balu and the helmet belongs to Thud. When we want to show that something belongs to somebody or something, we add an apostrophe and S. That is why the bat belongs to Balu becomes Balu's bat. And this helmet must belong to Thud becomes Thud's helmet. Let us look at some more examples of showing belonging or ownership. The house of my uncle, my uncle's house, the pet dog of my friend, my friend's pet dog, the road of the government, the government's road. This notebook belongs to the teacher, the teacher's notebook. This lipstick belongs to my mother, my mother's lipstick. Even if the owner or noun is plural, we still add the apostrophes to that thing to show that it belongs to them. For example, the clothes of the people, the people's clothes, the paintings of the children, the children's paintings, the work of the oxen, the oxen's work.